Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to do deposits and partial payments for WooCommerce. So let's just begin. All right. So to add the partial payments in the WordPress, first of all, what we need to do, we have to go inside the plugins. All right, and click on the Add New Plugin. And here you have to search for WooCommerce Deposit. All right. Okay. So here we have to install this plugin. Deposits and partial payments for WooCommerce by Bina. All right, so let's just click on the stall now and click on activate. Okay, so we have installed the plugin here. So now let's just go inside the setting of our plugin. Okay, so here in the general settings, as you can see here, the first thing that we have is the deposit mode. So we have the two values. The first one is order only deposit products or the regular products. So we can only do whether the deposit products or the regular products, or we can also allow deposit product and as well as the regular products. And after that, we have deposit for all products. That is actually the part of provision. And after that, we have deposit paid status. So if you want to change the status, uh, you can actually change it from here. In the last, we have disable payment method. So if you want to disable any payment method, you can simply disable it from here. All right. So now let's just go inside the advanced settings. So in the advanced settings, you can see here all of these options are actually the part of provision. So let's go inside the text and labels. So in the text and the labels, we have the notice, the regular product notice, and the deposit product notice. And we have the pay deposit. We have the full payment. We have deposit tax. So you can simply customize this if you want to. Okay. And in the last, we have the radio style. So in the radio style, we have the active color and we have the radio style. So if you want to change the radio style, you can simply do it from here. All right. So now let's just click on the save changes. And now I would go inside the products here. So let's click on the all products here. All right. So let's just go inside this product. So click on the edit here. Okay, so we have the product here. So how can we enable the deposit here? That is really easy. Let's just scroll down and here you can see the option of the deposit. All right. So let's click here. And if you want to enable the deposit feature for this product, you would simply click here. And the deposit feature for this product specifically is enabled now. All right. So the second thing is deposit type. So whether you want to deposit the value by percentage or fixed amount. Okay. So if you want to go here with the fixed amount, you can simply go here. So let's just write down the fixed amount here. So let's just write down $10 here. And that is it. Okay. So let's save the changes here. All right. So let's click on the update. Okay. So now let's go to the product page. And now here you will be able to see the pay deposit here. Okay. So if you want to do the full payment, you simply click here. And if you want to do the pay deposit, you simply click here. All right, so now let's click on add to cart. And now let's just go inside the view cart. Okay, so in the view cart, as you can see here, to pay amount is actually $10 that we are paying right now. And after that, we have the due payment of the $14.5. So this is how the deposit work. But one thing that I want to show here that if I just go back to the shop from here and let's just click on any other product here and click on the add to card. Okay, so now you can see this we are having a kind of warning that we detected that your card has deposit products that we have added earlier. Okay, so as we have already discussed that in the deposit setting, if I just go back in the general settings here, you can see the option of the deposit mode. So we have right now enabled only the deposit products or the regular products. So since we have added the deposit products now it will only add or we can only purchase the deposit products okay and we can't purchase the regular products and we would be having this kind of warning okay but if you want to go with both of these products the deposit and the regular one what you can do here let's just click on the allow regular deposit or the regular items together now let's click on the save changes now if i just go back here and refresh the page and here, as you can see this, this is not the deposit product. This is the regular product. So now if I just click on the add to card, this would be added to our add to card. All right. Okay. So now you can see this. 
the item has been added to our cart. So now if I just click on the view card, here you will be able to see that we have the deposit product and along with that we have the regular product. Okay, so that is how it works and that is how we can add the deposit or the partial payments in the WooCommerce. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.